Now, I recently got a partnership with the MLS, which is amazing. But there's a problem that comes with that. And it's about a pair of boots that I want to wear, mostly because I just kind of want to show them off. These juicy booties. Oh, these are something. When were these made? 2004? But the problem is, they have a cracked insole. And I'm not sure how to fix it, so that's one of the challenges for today. But while the kids are out, I need to get groomed. I do that. Oh dear, our room is pretty messy. But there are a couple of other things I want to film today around soccer to try and get ready for this MLS partnership. So first one I'm gonna do, since we had the solar eclipse yesterday, <clears throat> I think it's only right to try and learn this soccer skill called the eclipse, which I got no idea if I'll be able to do. But also gonna do daily, what is it? What am I doing right now? The Let's do the weekly manly maintenance routine. Let's do my weekly manly maintenance routine. What, what would I call it? The, let's do my weekly manly maintenance routine. <laughs> I am on a bit of a time crunch with lots of do to, to do today. <clears throat> I also want to run the max distance that a MLS player runs in a day or in a match. All right, we're going to start off with a shave. Panasonic shape up. I go with a six around these bits around here, we'll just progress. And we'll answer a couple of your questions at the same time. So first one, what made me move to America? So it all actually starts when I pretty much failed out of school and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do next and I was working on a ski season at the time, so working in the French Alps. I didn't really know what was next until I heard about a friend that had got a scholarship to play college soccer over in America. Doing the fade bit now. Bro, my skin is so dry. So when I saw that he did it, I was like, okay, I remember someone offering me a couple of years ago, if I wanted to do that, here's how you go and do it. And while I thought it was something very prestigious at the time, it was actually just, by the way, I'm using the Panasonic shape up. I don't know if I said that. It's basically just an agency of people that are in contact with colleges in the States and coaches in the States. And they just get a bunch of people, make them play a couple of games, make some tapes of it and send those off to coaches or invite coaches to these games. And then the coaches can kind of pick and choose who they want. Knowing me, I'm probably going to have to do another shave before the MLS thing this weekend, which I'm so excited about. If you couldn't tell. So then I had some interest from a couple of colleges, didn't like any of those ones and found one that I did like. That's a longer story. And then why have I stayed here? Uh, the missus is my green card. And I've kind of done a lot of my maturing while here. Like I was a pretty, sure imm pretty immature kid when I left home at 18, 19. And it's hard to imagine a life living in the UK as an adult. Hi, Duda. What are you doing? All right, so some things I miss about the UK. History, being able to travel around Europe, fish and chips every now and again. The list goes on, really, doesn't it? From that sense. But there are also lots of things that I like about here, which... It's really hard for me to like pinpoint, which isn't a good sign, is it? <laughs> Duda, can you stop please? Good girl. I do find that America is a way more of an expensive place to live though. So try my eyebrows. What length? Go long then short. It looked like a lot came off. I don't know if that, do they look any different to you? <laughs> oh, a question I had recently was what would 
What would a dream car be? I've been thinking about this one. So like a, a sprinter van or a big Dodge van kitted out with everything I need. So like if I want to go and do something, I have a van that's all ready to go, like all the space that you want. That would be really cool. Let's give those a wash in a minute. This also transforms into a toothbrush. Crazy. I got to wash my face. Good girl, dude. Also, I've been drinking a ton of water, but I've still been getting really bad headaches. So I, I've got some like hydration powder in this one. See if it helps me. So I have been diagnosed with ADHD. I don't, again, I don't really look at it as if like, oh, I have ADHD, so I can't do this, or I can't do that. It's just, I don't think it really matters that I have ADHD, but it, it makes me think about the way I think about things as different and how do I, how do I make the most out of it? So like today, for example, I have so many things I want to do. And to me, at the beginning of the day, they all seem doable. I can get all of this done. But then time just slowly starts, or rather quickly, just chips away and away away. And not only do I feel like partially crippled by all the things I want to accomplish, I feel crippled in a sense of, oh, what do I start first? Like what's the highest priority? What would give me the most benefit? And then I start asking, well, actually, should I be doing that? Because my larger goal is over here. It's weird how my body has gotten used to the zing of this. Remember when I first started trying it? It's the, uh, I can't find it. Where is it? L'Oreal Men Expert. Here it is. This one. Now I'm kind of used to it. The other thing is that the boys aren't sleeping particularly well. The two kids we have, which makes life that much more difficult. Not kids making life difficult, but just being tired. Probably have to sort the beard bit out later. But I think I'm gonna to have to start going back to making a daily plan the night before. The day before, so that coming into each day, I know what I'm doing and I can follow that plan as opposed to having to like every day try and struggle with what is the priority, the different things that I do. So now we're gonna go and shoot the eclipse video. Oh, I should brush my teeth, but there's sugar in this. I do a uh, bit of that arm and hammer. Ooh! I bought these on clearance the other day. They're charcoal infused toothbrushes. So when I finish with the Mizwag, I need to do two days of fasting to come to a closure with this. All right, let's go shoot some soccer. I'll edit that and then we can fix the boots. Actually, I also need to change the buds on these. The Beats Pro. <clears throat> How do you get out of there? Oh, you don't. All right, I've got medium sized, but I guess my ears are small sized. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if these can stay on with how much I'm about to be jumping around. Now, as actually, as I'm thinking about the video, does that make it more interesting? Is like, can these stay in my ears as I'm jumping around? I don't think the average viewer has enough information to know how much I'll be jumping around at the beginning to make this the hook of the video. Like, it could be interesting, but I don't know if it's the hook. All right, I'll make those part of the video. So a guy do this on TikTok, it looks easy enough. What the hell? Immediately watching a tutorial. <laughs> I am really gonna have to swallow my pride and try this without the ball. So you kick it up and then you would go up, catch it on your foot, jump over it and then flick it round. What, how is that possible? Where, how do you do that? <laughs> I thought this would be easy and it's bloody hot. Let's get a bit of body armor. Lemon lime. Hello, Mr. Rugies. Get out of here, get out of here. I don't see how this is, I don't see how this is possible. Can I even catch it on my foot? All right, that also kind of hurt my heel, so I'm gonna try it on the grass.
How the? So if I can do that, then how the hell do I get my other leg around that? All right, the solar eclipse lasted four minutes. So that's how long I'm giving myself. Oh, what the frick, dude? <laughs> this is tragic. I have to watch this tutorial again. That guy's just showing off. All right, so if I can just start with... What? What in the hell? Do I have to go low? You out the way. Oh gosh. God, I've got to flip and build up the confidence to try it now. How do I flick it up enough? It's like that leg has to hover in the air. What? Ow. This is stupid. The MLS and Sporting KC have invited me to an event this weekend. And I thought, you know, let's sharpen up my skills, show something cool. <laughs> show something cool. Well, I can't even do this. All right, this tutorial says there are four steps. So let's try those. So the first part is keeping my leg at 90 degrees like this out here and being able to jump. What the hell? There's no way that was right. That was closer. I feel like I'm just gonna hit the ball. How freaking far out does my leg have to go? Why did I even start this? Jinkies. Part two. Now I have to try and balance the ball on my foot and jump. Mate, are you mad? How am I gonna do that? Oh, he's like really leaning. I can't. How am I gonna get my leg back to that? Come on, Oliver. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, these beats are doing a decent job of staying in. Really? A, really? Why are you on my ball? It's literally a wasp on my ball. Yes, Oliver. I'm determined to do this. How do I pop it up that high? Pulling the flipping hammy. Oh, jinkies, bro. It's like I need to aim my jump to come through here. Fuck. Confidence? Is that what I'm lacking? Like I feel like I'm going to stand on the ball. I'm convinced this isn't a real trick. Real people can't do this. That, weirdly, that was my closest one yet. So my foot needs to be way further out. My flipping foot is cramping in here. I can smell the BO coming in strong now. Okay, so forget where the ball is and just jump over. Forget where the ball ends up. We all know the four minute timer ended a long time ago. I'm gonna try this with a smaller, heavier ball that the Brazilians use. So these balls don't bounce. It's like that dance move, isn't it? Where you go, so I can do that. I don't like giving up, but if I injure myself before this game, I'm not gonna be happy. I'm sorry I couldn't do it. That's way too hard. I didn't really plan on leaving this till the end of the day, but I've kind of run out of time. But doing my research, I didn't really find much in terms of research. So I was thinking what I actually do. <clears throat> well, okay, my initial thought was to put two like bars across here, like really heat them up and melt them into the plastic. But the plastic isn't very thick. And if they then loosen, I've just got two metal spikes going into my foot. So we've got some very nice Gorilla Super Glue gel that I think I'm just gonna slop in there and then just hope that that works. Oh, nice and thick. The best way to do this. The fact that it's gel actually is throwing me off. It's not even level. Oh gosh, why is it all coming out? Oh, it's on the carpet. I'm in a bit of a pickle at the moment. Because I am not going to wait there like that. Like I'm thinking I could use like lollipop sticks or something. I'm s I shouldn't have left this till right at the end of the day. Can't get a decent... I'm just going to rub it with my finger and get it to sit properly. Okay, so this position seems great. That actually seems like it's holding quite well. Here's a bit 
there that's dried and I shouldn't have done that. Not Starburst wrapper. That seems like a half decent temporary hold. We'll see how that does. All right. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Oh, I still have to plan out tomorrow. I'll come down later and do that. Time to eat.